It's Don here from the board. Wow. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be reviewing the T1 tactile switch. Uh, these switches are meant to be top notch in terms of their tactility and a serious contender and replacement for the Holy Panda. So let's get down and check them out. So here's a sack of T1s. Uh, I bought these through Daily Clack. They've got a really lovely uh, sort of inky housing. I mean, I, I was just trying to search for a word, smoky. You know, they're tinted. So it's got quite a distinct look to it compared to the majority of the switch housings that we have. And what I've got here is one single drop Holy Panda, which is meant to be the, the refabrication of the original uh, Holy Panda combination, right, of the Innova Panda switch and the Halo, uh, the Input Club Halo switch, which put together becomes the Holy Panda. So, the difference is that the price between the two is quite significantly different. And uh, that's why you might want to consider a T1 supposedly for something that's going to be just as tactile and beat out the Holy Panda without paying that premium for the Holy Panda. So here it is. Now, uh, I think these are made by Duroc. They don't have any branding on the housing tops, so you can see it's completely clear and open. It supports uh, through-hole LED components, so not SMD. The housing doesn't have the cutout for SMD materials, right? That you can see. And it's got sort of this bluey, tealy kind of muted stem color to it. Now, there's no dampening on it by default either. So here we go. Very interesting. Okay, so I can see what people are talking about. I can feel what people are talking about. It, it It's actually, uh, so just to put this in context, because if you haven't really watched anything else um, in my videos and, and whatnot, um, I use the phrase negative tactility to describe a certain type of tactile switch, because there's a traditional tactile switch which the force curve comes along and there's a bump with negative tactile switches it starts with a preload and a lip and then you press on it and your force increases until you get past this hard edge lip and it drops away and that's where you get your tactile sensation because you know you have a loss of activity there these two switches are both in that camp right it's a negative tactile switch kind of like you know box royals are as well and the zeal v2 switches are in that same fashion. Pressing them and that fall away they have very similar characteristics. But the T1 has a more distinct lip. So what I mean by that is when I rest my finger on this and I start to apply force on it, it goes straight into a slip and fall. When I rest my finger on the T1 and start to apply force, there's a ledge. So I feel it, it settles into a ledge and then it's sharp. There's more of a rounded sensation on the holy panda than on the T1. And I think that's what's the contrasting difference between that tactile sensation. And it actually makes the T1 feel like it's harder. Like it's actually got more of a uh, to it in its tactile fall away. And it almost makes me feel like it's a click bar switch, a box click bar switch without the click arm. That's how it actually feels. I'm, I'm quite... I'm not going to say surprised, but I'm, 
I'm quite pleased actually with the sensation. Now, as far as it goes for a tactile shoot down between the two, they are very, very similar. Okay, so you certainly won't be disappointed with one or the other, but the price is probably going to kill you because these are a lot more expensive than these. Uh, the thing that counteracts though is mass drop switches come factory looped and they're looped inconsistently from what I've been told and what I've seen from everybody else. If these are lubed, these T1s, they've done a terrible job because they're super gritty. You can hear the wearing and rubbing on these, right? So I'm just going to do it with the microphone. So the T1s and then the Holy Pandas. T1s, pandas. I don't know if the microphone is really picking up on it, uh, to be honest, but the finger sensation, you need to do something with these T1s. You're going to have to lube them or something because it gives you more response. It gives you more feedback on it. If you like that, that's fine. But if you want smoothness, then you you want to be lubing these. My only fear, though, is if you lube them, if you over lube them, how much of that difference between the two will fall away. However, that's actually kind of positive because if you like the feel of the pandas and you're not after more tactile sensation, and the pandas are like spot on where you want it, lubing it and dulling that hardness from the T1s might actually pay off for you because then it'll probably make it feel closer to what these pandas feel like. Yeah, so so that was actually quite pleasant to, to describe that, to experience that. I'm actually going to say I quite like them. If I was to build a board next um, and I wanted something a bit quieter and that wasn't clicky switches, then I would be more than happy to install T1s from a, an affordability factor compared to Holy Pandas, which I actually have like 100 Holy Panda switches. Um, and now I also have 100 or so of these T1s. So hmm, that was that was a good discovery. Good discovery. No disappointment at all. Alrighty, so let's just pop these babies out and get them into my plate, which is getting super crowded now. Uh, we'll, we'll give you your own home there. And then we'll put the T1s underneath it so we're not encroaching too badly on our linear corner there. We're kind of going to have to think about a new solution for how I'm managing my uh, switch collection. There we go. Alrighty, hopefully that you uh, got something out of my thoughts in regards to pandas versus T1s. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button below, please. If you're not subscribed and you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff, then please hit that subscribe button. All your subscriptions help. And if you want to get notified on our latest videos and releases, please hit that bell button as well. Thank you again for coming along and checking out the video. And of course, as always, until next time, happy clacking.